The Maryland community still struggling to recover after a deadly flood one year ago. I could not sleep because I felt like we were always in danger. Yeah, that is Maria Santos. She was at the Rock Creek Woods Apartments when it flooded a year ago today. That flood killed a teenager. How can you forget this? Maria says she's still scared every time it rains. We were there when she headed down to the lower level for the first time in a year. Rafael Sanchez Cruz is live in Rockville tonight with much more. Hey, Rafa. Hey, Lorenzo, I remember being here a year ago when this was completely flooded and residents are telling me now that they believe little is being done to protect them from another deadly flood. It has been one year since a flash flood sent water cascading into the Rock Creek Woods apartment complex, displacing 150 people. Today, those basement units are still condemned, including the home of 19 year old Melkin Daniel Cedillo, who drowned as he rescued his mother from the water that poured into their apartment. A very humble young man. That's how his neighbor Maria Santos describes Cedillo. The fear of another flood is still present for Maria, who says she has not been to the lower level of her building since the flood. Our cameras were there when she visited the basement for the first time in a year. I feel fear. Yes, fear. We never know when tragedy could hit. 13 years living here, and we had not seen anything like it. Montgomery County officials deployed 35 solar powered flood sensors and flood prone sites across the county to alert residents sooner of potential dangers. We need to be able to understand when we need to shut roads down or potentially evacuate people if water levels get too high. Today, the county's Department of Environmental Protection says 29 of those sensors are up and running, but the one intended to be near the Rock Creek Woods apartment complex has yet to be installed. The agency says some issues need to be settled with the landowner prior to the installation. Whoever's responsible can um, get, get it done, have the sensors installed so that, you know, when, you know, it happens the next time because it's inevitable that, you know, history will repeat itself. Um, will be prepared. In a statement, the management company said we're supportive of Montgomery County's efforts to install flood sensors throughout the county to prevent another similar no notice weather related event from harming anyone's home or business. We are pleased the county will install one on our property by the end of this month. Now, still no word on the delay of this installation of the flood sensor close to this apartment complex and the new uh, uh, residents in the area are saying they had no idea about last year's deadly flood. Lorenzo. Oh, OK. All right. Rafael Sanchez Cruz. Thank you.